Hey guys, what's happening? So, I actually work with a lot of embedded, embedded Linux systems. I thought I'd show you how to hook up a UART to this IP camera. So this actual IP camera um, didn't come with a web server, or didn't have firmware that actually has a web server. Um, it's a really scaled down version of the firmware. So I want to convert it to a version that actually does have a web server. And uh, so those are the, the UART uh, ports right there. So you're going to have a ground, you're going to have a receive and a transmit. And I'll put a link down below, but you'll need like a some sort of UART adapter, a TTL a USB adapter. And I'll have to figure out like what the pin, what pin is what. Um, you're, you're not going to hook up VCC, you're not going to hook up the power to it. Normally, a uh, UART board would actually have a either be 5 volt or 3.3 volt, but you're not going to use that because you actually fire the chip. So, all right, I got to solder some connections that are on the board there. They're pretty tiny. I got some 26 gauge wire. I might go bigger, we'll see. Right, so, most pinouts, I mean, just about every single board that I ever saw. You need to find the ground, so you can do that here. Hit a pad or some some place some, some ground on the board. You got to figure out what pin is ground, and the other two will be receive and transmit. Okay. All right, so ground is there on the far left. So that means receive and transmit over here. Take a look at those pins right there. I'm gonna try to get them in the light for you. But yeah, just about every single board that runs embedded Linux would typically have a UART. Sometimes they're soldered on with pins already, but typically you might see if the there's silk screen on the actual PCB, you might see ground, uh, VCC, uh, RX, and TX. But this one actually doesn't have it, so um, I'm just going to have to do some guessing here. That's actually why I, I uh, did a continuity test to find the ground. All right, so there are the wires. And they feed up into my adapter, so I'm going to grab my laptop, set it right here, and run my uh, terminal program. I'm going to be running a TerraTerm. If Windows, I usually, usually run TerraTerm, and then I use uh, QCOM on uh, Linux. Alright, so I might have to mess with the baud rate settings of the USB port. Uh, this is TerraTerm. Uh, usually it's 115K200. Well, for, for most embedded versions of Linux, it is um, set up. Serial port, make sure that's 115, 200K. If not, then I'm going to try different baud rates. But the other thing is, I'm actually going to have to mess with the receive transmit. So if it's not correct now, and I don't see anything when it boots up, then I have to maybe flip the UARTs around because it's, it's not labeled on the device here. So I don't know what's what. All right, so hopefully you can see all this in the frame. All right, so this is a PoE camera. Plug in the PoE port. Alright, there we go. I've got the wiring, I think, correct. You know it. Well, let's see. see. Alright, it's booting up Linux. Um, so the the uh, baud rate was, it's a high silicon uh, chip on there, so the baud rate was 115. Uh, okay. Okay, login. I have no clue what the login is. It's probably going to be, okay, that's the IP base range. So this thing actually, what, what bugged me about this camera is that I had a static IP address built into it, and there's no web GUI, so I can't change it. So NTP client skills. So right now, it's actually, it's doing, a, it's trying to find the DVR right now. It's trying to find the, the network, you know. Right now, it's connected to my other internal network, but it's trying to make a request right now to the DVR. So let's see if I can get into it. I don't know what the password would be. Because I can actually, I can try to tell that into it, but I don't know what the login is. Let's try admin. Control C. Uh, if you're not familiar with Linux, uh, try admin. Yeah, I'm sure they have a lockdown. Yeah, I might need to do some kind of control break command. I gotta figure out if it's U boot or the actual boot the bootloader, like what the bootloader is. Um, and that way I can actually TFTP a new image onto the device. But uh, I'll go and make another video about that, how to 
copy over firmware, but this is just how to connect a UART to an IP camera so you can see what's actually happening. So it's like hooking up a computer and monitor and mouse to it. Like on a computer, it's like you know having a VGA monitor on there and a keyboard and mouse. So it allows me to actually run Linux commands. But for me, I don't know what the root password is, so it's kind of an issue. Um, yeah, because this camera is designed to work directly with the DVR and not be independent of the DVR. So, all right, guys, cool.